Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Wei Yi and Vladimir Malakov. This is a game from World Rapid Chess Championship played in Qatar in 2016. Wei Yi had white pieces and he started with d4. Vladimir Malakov played d5. Bishop to f4. Knight to f6. e3. c5. White to move. Knight to d2 was played. d3 is the most played move. We have knight to d2. c takes on d4. e takes on d4. And Malaku played bishop to g4. Quite often, black plays queen to b6, attacking the pawn on b2. And white may respond with sacrificing two pawns for the initiative. Like this, knight on g to f3, queen takes pawn on b2, rook to b1, queen takes pawn on a2. Okay, back to our game. In the game we have bishop to g4, knight on g to f3, knight to c6, c3, e6, queen to b3, attacking the pawn, on b7, queen to c8. If queen to b6, then queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, bishop to b5, and this is good for white. Back to our game. Queen to c8, bishop to d3, bishop to e7, and both players castle kingside. Knight to e5, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight, knight to d7, attacking the bishop, Bishop to f4, knight to b6, a4, intending a5. Black to move. Bishop to f5 was played. If something like rook to d8, then perhaps a5, knight to d7, and then a6, and after b6, rook from f to c1. And this is good for white. In the game we have bishop to f5. Bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, Rook from f to e1 attacking the bishop on e7. Queen to d7 defending. a5 attacking the knight. Knight to c8. Knight is standing better. Knight to f3 intending. Knight to e5. f6. White to move. Perhaps h4 would not be a bad move, preventing g5. A e played c4. Rook to d8. If d takes on c4, a queen takes on c4, check. So we have rook to d8, a6, e6. If b takes on a6, c5, and white is much better. b6, white to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Wei Yi played c5. This is a very strong move. g5. If b takes on c5, queen to b7, attacking the rook. And if knight to d6, queen takes on d7, rook takes queen, rook takes bishop, rook takes rook, bishop takes knight, and white is winning. So in this position, Vladimir Malakou played g5, attacking the bishop. Is the best square for the bishop? Surely it is not bishop to g3. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Wei Yi played the winning move. And that is... What is the winning move? Is it bishop to d2? No, this is not a bad move. But c6 is the winning move. Queen takes pawn on c6. What else? If queen to e8, bishop to c7 means the rook. So we have queen takes on c6. Rook from a to c1. Queen to e8. Bishop to c7 attacking the rook. Rook to d7. 
queen to b5, pinning the rook. Knight to d6, attacking the queen. Queen takes pawn on d5 check. King to g7. Bishop takes on d6, rook from a to d8. If rook takes on d6, then rook takes bishop check. And after queen takes rook, queen takes rook on a8. And white is winning. So we have rook from a to d8. White to move. What would you do? White. Play the move when black resigned. We he played queen to e6. And Malako resigned in view of this continuation. Rook takes bishop. Queen takes bishop on e7 check. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen check. King to f8. Rook from c to c7. And I guess we can stop here. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game. This is the position. Did you find the winning move? I did. Congratulations. Do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.